All right, now, so here's the second foot, and we're going to uh, demonstrate the palpation skills for the bones on the medial aspect of the foot here. Uh, this, is, this bone is larger, thinner, and the features on it are more prominent than the features on the uh, other foot we demonstrated about. So I'm going to put my hand underneath the ankle like this. Now, I can already see here that there's this bony prominence. I'm going to put my thumb right on there. I'm going to dorsiflex and plantar flex that foot a little bit. All right, I can feel, I can see the foot moving. I can feel underneath my thumb and fingers on the other side here. I can feel the male malleolus is not moving. Now I know where this medial malleolus is, and I know where the lateral malleolus is as well. If I bring my thumb just inferior to that, basically it's the same basic skill as previously. I have one thumb on top of the malleolus, and immediately next to it, the other thumb, that's going to place my thumb on the talus bone, which is right here. There's my talus. Now, if I just dorsiflex and plantar flex that foot a little bit, I can feel the talus moving in relation to the malleolus here. Like that. Now, I'm going to go right uh, to palpating that subtalar joint. Now, inferior to the talus, the tissue is basically soft. We're going to, we can palpate the bony aspect of the calcaneus back here on the heel. But here, so I have my thumb again on the talus because it's inferior to the malleolus like this. Now I'm going to just move that calcaneus slightly like this and then move my thumb just slightly inferior and I, then I can feel that joint move in the sense that I can feel that the talus is not moving because I have pressure on it with my thumb and then I can feel inferior to that the other tissue moving. Now this joint here, this saddle joint, the talus calcaneus, moves very slightly. Don't be trying to get a lot of action there because it could hurt someone. Alrighty, then I can press in there and I can feel that joint like this with my thumb. I can feel the inferior margin of the talus right along there. Very good. Alrighty, now for the next joint I want to be able to locate uh, is that uh, talonavicular joint here. So here my navicular is going to be approximately here. Now in this case this navicular, has, the tuberosity of the navicular is prominent here. One of the basic problems with though with the palpating the tuberosity of the navicular is that the talus, not so much in this case, but the talus can have a prominent feature here. Uh, immediately inferior to the malleolus, which is easy enough to mistake for the tubera, pardon me, it's easy enough to mistake sometimes the talus for the tuberosity of the navicular. So we want to be sure about that. Now if we, here's our malleolus, we make a line just like that. That line, sharp line, anterior to the medial malleolus, should line up with that talonavicular joint. Now if I press my thumb on the talus here, inferior to the malleolus, here should be my navicular. If I rotate, I'm going to move, twist slightly those metatarsals. All right, now I can feel that my talus is not moving, and I can see the foot moving. So I just go slightly, just really roll slightly my thumb forward, I can start to feel that joint move. I can feel that joint where the navicular here is moving against my thumb while my thumb is stabilizing the talus and the talus is not moving like this. So there you go. Perfect. Perfectly located. Now I have my navicular here. Here's my thumb. The tip of my thumb is right on that talonavicular joint because I can feel it move there like that. Even just moving that foot slightly, I can feel that. Alrighty, so there's my, my navicular. You notice I'm using firm pressure. You can see my nails get red when I press. So 
Here I am. Obviously enough, if you're working on a client, you don't want to hurt them. So uh, if they, uh, if the, you have to ask people in general. Now these feet I know, but in general, ask people about the pain level because you certainly don't want to be hurting them. So now I've got my thumb pressed right on the tuberosity of the navicular. My hand across the metatarsals. I'm stabilizing just with firm pressure, stabilizing that navicular so it's not moving. I can see my metatarsals moving. I'm just going to roll my thumb forward just slightly like this. Okay, and then I can feel that joint move. Now I can generally see it move, but as far as getting exactly where that joint between the medial cuneiform and the navicular is, I want to be exact. And so here I am, I've got it exactly. It's exactly here under where my thumb was. It's right there. Now, I'm going to just feel that a little bit more to get it just really clear. You can feel that movement. So here, here's the navicular not moving, here's the cuneiform moving. And I can feel that clearly, feel that movement. And I'm just going to creep my thumb forward a little bit because I want to find that movement be between the, the medial cuneiform and the base of that first metatarsal. And I'm activating that joint by rotating the metatarsal slightly, twisting the metatarsal slightly. Now, I can feel right here under my thumb that medial cuneiform is not moving and this metatarsal is moving. And I can feel the line between the two of them, and that's how I know where that joint is, which I really want to be able to feel that in order to be exact in my location of the reflexes. Here, now here's my first metatarsal. That's an important feature. Now in this case, I can feel around here. I would say that in this case, the, that feature, the base of the first metatarsal, is almost undiscernible, f f by, both on palpation and uh, visually. Whereas if I move it, if I have my palpation skill here, then I can find that, that feature just by moving the joint. So I'm pressing, the pressure is here on that cuneiform, and there we go. Moving the metatarsal, I can feel the joint activate. So, now, I know approximately where this joint is, like this. I want to know exactly where it is. So, gripping the metatarsals and, the, and moving this joint. Uh, I'm going to dorsiflex and plantar flex the great toe, and I can feel that joint right underneath my finger, feel it open and close. Now I know exactly where it is. I can go to the side here. I can feel the, the action of the joint. So I know this is the metatarsal, and this is that uh, proximal phalanx of the great toe. There we go. That's our palpation of the bones on the medial aspect of the foot.